Diddy Sin is saying Jay-Z is going to be exposed next after Diddy. So Jay-Z had a close relationship with Diddy throughout see his that, career. See how they and do. 50 Cent pointed out that Jay seems to be missing. I told you they're going to pull them all in. Look who's pulling them in. Same guy to pull P. Diddy in. Cassie's husband. And after all the raids rained down on Diddy, Jay-Z was allegedly named on Epstein's client list. See? Epstein is a prolific child predator who would serve up underage girls to the elites. Oh, Epstein would fly out his clients and the girls to a private remote island in the Caribbean where they could get away with it and the girls couldn't escape because they were surrounded by sharks. It's been rumored Jay-Z had his own private island where the same stuff went down with Diddy. And we haven't seen the footage until now. And the similarities to Epstein are startling. It's Folks, follow the Lord, follow religion. What what's happening here is it, it, it appears to be a repercussion for some actions. And in my opinion, my opinion, this is this is where I would go. You want to save yourself if you're one of these stars. I hate to go there, right? Because I don't like the underage thing at all. Okay, I don't I don't like it, right? 13 year old girl, 12 year old girl. I don't care how they looking at you or whatever. You're an adult, okay? You're an adult. They're kids. They're fucking young kids. Just think about this shit, man. You live you live to be about what 75 to 85 years old, and that kid is it lived one tenth of his life. I mean, does it make sense to do something with that? For me, it feels disgusting, but you know, I you know, I hate to say it, black guys more sway to um, a little bit older, <laughs> you know, a little bit heavier. <laughs> I mean, it is what it is. I shouldn't be laughing, but it's true. You don't find too many folks in our culture that like the young kid thing, right? Just doesn't jive right, doesn't feel right. You know, I would say, obviously, when they get between, you know, 19 and all that, when you know, they come of, of, of form, it may be different. I, I guess I'm talking about women because, I, you know, I like women. I guess I don't know about the gay guys. I'm assuming it's the same thing. But you know, this thing here is it seems like it's gonna it's gonna blast out all the way up and I hate to say a lot of a lot of the folks that we looked up to and, and listen well at least listen to their music. I don't look up to nobody really like that, right? Because 'Cause I'm kinda 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 conceited in a way, right? I respect the music. I'm gonna get hit here. And uh, they won't relent. This group this group right here is not gonna relent. They're gonna pull you out. So just when you made it to the top and everything's going well, you know, you know, Beyonce's trying to jump in country. So now they're gonna really pull her ass out. Now you ain't gonna get this shit, girl. I mean, come on. Yeah, that's a little too far. They're gonna get you there. Jay Z, right? Big time artist, long career. They're pulling him in. Well, that's how you made a billion. See, there's always an asterisk to what you do. There's always an asterisk. And I gotta ask the question, right? And then this is specific to the entertainers. Because uh, when we look at the other other folks in our in our culture that have made it, uh, Bob Johnson or no, not Bob Johnson. I'm, try, I'm trying to think of other folks that are not in entertainment. They don't really have the asterisks like that, and they probably won't because nobody cares, right? Because they're they're not entertainers. Okay, there's black billionaires in the oil fields in, in Africa. There's a couple black, a lot of black billionaires. So we can't just say black billionaires. We have to say entertainers, athletes. You are in the limelight. It's probably one of the worst ways to make money. I hate to say it. It is probably one of the worst ways to make money because everybody's watching you. Now, let me come back to say, how do they get out of this? I'm, I'll be straight up honest with you. I'll play lawyer. Okay. Diddy should have said he was bisexual. Diddy said he, he, likes, he likes sexual affairs and that everyone was complicit in the actions. Very simple. That's all he had to say. Okay, and then he comes out and goes, I'm, I don't deal with underage minors. Very simple. It's that easy. I, I am a freak. I do have freak offs. I'm Rick James. I'm bisexual. And things go down. Beyonce and Jay-Z, I know they want to keep the uh, beautiful, uh, perfect family image, but they need to do the same thing, right? They need to come out and say, hey, we're voyeurs. We try different stuff. We're out there. We don't deal with underage minors. That is the first step, I think, to kind of exonerating themselves. Because, no offense, what these people do at home, as long as it's not with, with young children and people that are complicit or agree upon the, the matters, it's their business. It's their business. 
Okay, if you're if you're if you're listen, and that's why they call normies. If you're a person on the street and you want to be down with this crew, I don't want to be down with this crew. Okay, that's why that's why I like being. That's why I like. I keep saying I'd rather get money like a doctor versus a uh, a superstar football player. I'd rather be a rich doctor. Yeah, I get way less more chicks and less attention because it is about the status. But I'm good with that. I don't have the abundance of needing women. Okay, I don't have that need to just. You know, oh, I'm hungry for a woman. I need it. I need it. And I'm not saying I had a lot. I'm just saying I don't need it like that. All right? Well, I probably did have a lot. But, you know, I, I don't have that need. All right? I don't need the attention. I don't need no one to pat me on the back. I don't need no kisses. Right? I don't need none of that shit. All right? I just want to live life and contribute to society as best I can. And I think that should be the overall goal. Um, these people constantly <laughs> seek attention. Just like, you know, the guy on the bottom is trying to get the attention, right? And, and now we're all seeking attention, right? Because YouTube, I am a, I am a, I am a definitely entrepreneurial. YouTube is paying major bucks, and it, and it looks like a lottery opportunity. Do you understand where I'm going here? You can do this shit from your phone in the morning time, right? Instead of watching Netflix and all that shit, you make your own news. While reading it, you can just pit, you can put it out there in a fucking video, and if it hits... And it sticks. You could possibly make money from doing a review for 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 an article that you would have read anyway. So that's why folks is on YouTube heavy. It's like, why the fuck not? I'm, I'm going to check it out anyway. But that's why that's why I think they get out of this thing, guys. I really do feel bad for these folks because it feels like they're now on a witch hunt for the for the you know they're going to go hip hop culture first, right? When realistically, this has been happening for ages in the rock industry. All right, let me let me get there, cause I was just doing some research on the escort industry, cause everyone's monetized thing. Let me let me get there. Um, yes, that's gonna be a. I think that's gonna be a good video. This escort thing that's going on, rock artists with young children. All right. Let me just let me just show you this with young kids. With young, uh, yeah. Uh, you know, you know, rock stars and pedophilia, and I, and I hate to bring them in it, but th you know, this is this this has been going on for a while now. The coverage, because we set the trends, I don't think it's going to be as big. Uh, and and here goes just an article on Reddit. I don't want to go there. Like Steven Tyler's thing went away. Um. Look at Ted Nugent. Look at that one, right? Seventeen-year-old girl. I think convinced her to marry. Uh, then there we go. So hey, hey I, I think this 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 would be good. Robin just was openly talking about pedophilia and music. Also was singing about drugs and legal activities. This this has been going on. That's why I say the party like a rock star. Party like a rock star. Party. You know this is these are where these songs came from, All right? So has this is this a surprise to me and people of the entertainment industry when the rock stars really kicked off this pedophilia? If that's where if that if that's where these guys are going. Because two consenting adults having crazy type sex doesn't really matter to me. That's their business. All right. If Jay-Z and Dada did it on camera with five other people and they were consenting, I don't care. P. Diddy had 10 girls in there and they were consenting and they weren't influenced in any way with some drugs. I don't care. And to be honest with you, if it, I'm, I'm straight up on We Talk Comedia, it feels like people are just jumping on the fucking bandwagon for money. That's my problem with this. Okay, that's my only problem. Diddy, Diddy really did a disservice. We talked about it. Every single channel in the manosphere talked about the problem that Diddy did. He, he took the hit on Cassie. Okay, because you no, know, I'm not gonna go on my guy in the, in the in the office. He's running for president. But there's a lot of folks in the politician realm that have been hit with these charges, these type charges. Okay, a lot. Okay. Look at look at British rock star. These guys are, I mean, rock and roll. They just have because they got to. By the way, 
uh, and, and I'm not being rude here. Brads have a different body type that they like. I, I, I think that's a difference too. Black guys, like I said, a little like a little bit thicker. So that means it's probably gonna be a little bit older. We actually, I think we actually like women that have had a baby. <laughs> I hate to say it. That one baby, like a real skinny girl, and she had one baby. It's almost like the perfect, you know, she gets she gets the baby baby weight. Okay. Um, while other groups of people, what I notice, they like their girls really skinny. You know, no no flat back, no 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 front end, no breasts, no nothing, and 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 then that's kind kind of resemblance of a man to me. See, so it makes sense that the rock stars like you know. And I'm sure there's some gay stuff in there. No doubt about it. You know? You know, this is, again, look, look at this. Wow, this is a whole. See, they didn't really push this out there like that, man. They've had relationships. This guy's out free right now. I, I don't want to go there. Oh, my God. What is this? What am I reading? Wyman was 47 years old when he began dating a 13-year-old. Holy shit. See what I'm talking about? You got to get the same energy here, bro. I mean, this is if you're going to cover it, you got to get... That's my problem right there. Whatever these folks did, if it was underage girls or boys, because you got to say both now, Lord have mercy. I hate to say it. If, if, what's the legal age? 17, 16? Whatever the legal age and whatever your state you are. By the way, there is, I think it is 16. So people like scratching their head. What? I thought it was 18. No. No, certain countries, I think it's 16, 17. I think it's when the girl can have a baby. Okay. I think they can have a younger, though. That's not true, right? So I'm not, I may be wrong, but I think it's 16 years old. Uh, Steven Tyler, 27, began dating a 16 year old. All right. All right. Okay. She soon became pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> Tyler forced her to have an abortion. Lord have mercy. Tyler's out free, man. Tyler never went to jail. Yeah, okay, and I'm doing. I'm only doing this because look, look what you know. You know this guy's doing it because it's relevant. But you know he pulled in Jay Z here. He pulled in Jay Z. Fifty Cent. They're gonna pull you in too, bro. So just be careful. Every rapper right now, they're gonna pull you in. This is what they do. You know, they're gonna pull you right the fuck in there because it's relevant to Diddy and, and and what he's go. You know, he's he's hip hop. So let's pull in all the hip hop guys and fuck them over. And, and I would, I, you gotta mention the historical timeline of where this came from. Okay, rock and roll, rock, rock, party like a rock star, party like that's where all of this shit started to happen. Now. Again, if it's consensual adults, that's my only problem. You know, you got these people making claims from 10, 15 years ago and coming. Oh, he did this to me. You got dancers coming out. I don't know. We're trying to get a little paycheck. Oh, Diddy was the worst. Blah, blah, blah. Motherfucker, why don't you say that 10, 15 years ago? Some of these people didn't even have sex with Diddy. Why the fuck didn't you say that 10 or 15 years ago? That's my problem. That's my biggest problem. That's the asterisk. That's the question mark. Okay. Do people with abuse stay quiet for a long time? Uh, I would say yes. That's true. That's a true statement. That's a true statement. Okay. Um, but it's just hard for people to believe, especially nowadays, right? Especially nowadays. I, I do agree. I do know some girls that are probably abused when they're and boys are abused when they were younger, and then you know don't say anything. They stay quiet, and you know. But to come out, you know, twenty twenty five years later, it feels like okay, you've already lived your life, so I think you're, you're going for money grab. It feels like a money grab. We'll see with Jay Z. Um, they're gonna start try to pull the whole strings here. Jay Z's in trouble, and I, I didn't want to go there. This guy had too many views. Uh, Jay Z definitely, I follow Jay Z. Okay, uh, okay, except from Jersey, I'm definitely following. I followed Jay Z my whole life. Okay, so I got, I got, I can't lie to you. Yes, we're not gonna play around like you know, Fifty Cent, Jay Z, definitely Diddy. Diddy, you know, he's a background dancer to me, man. I mean, that's what I'm going to shake it, shake it, take that, take that. I mean, that's all. He, I mean, to me, he was a hype man. I, you know, I, at times I thought he was a hype man. I didn't even know he owned anything. Okay. But Jay-Z and 50 Cent, that's going to go. That's going to, and I'm not bringing 50 Cent there. I'm just going to go with this guy just said, Jay-Z. Let's not bring him in there. Let's not bring down our own. Uh, but Jay-Z, is, is in, I think he's in trouble. Okay. They're going to hunt for him. And, and Beyonce, Beyonce's in country. There's always a reason behind the thing. Diddy had a lawsuit with the with the liquor company, and allegedly, you know, liquor company could have came back. It was a big lawsuit. And by the way, they won't have to pay it if if he goes down. Uh, Diddy has they're going in on Diddy's loans on his house. Uh, by the way, folks, people take out a lot of money on their house because of the taxes that that come to play with it. If you start, if you keep liquid cash, they fuck you over on taxes. 
Okay. So just a heads up. Everything you should be doing should be coming out your house. Well, then it's just a rental. Listen, everything is just a means to make more money. Do you understand? Do you understand? Sometimes you take that, you're making, you're making a higher yield on something else in the, in, the, in the world. So looking at his mortgages, I believe there's an article from the beautiful New York Post, which will keep you fucking busy all day, that he is he is going broke. Now, I'm, now, I'm not sure if he is it or not, but taking a loan out on your house is actually very intelligent. It's the smartest way to move. Um and it looks like he's still current on payments. And that's the key thing. Is he still current on payments? That's what you need to look at. If he hasn't been paying in the for a couple months, then that, that's a different story. Your boy Mikey signing off here. Rockstars did this Joseph Morris. But I know, I know, I know. I know, I know, I know. I know you're going to go start going at them, man. And this is this is what I'm talking about. They kiss you. They want to take pictures with you. And then, boom, once things start going south, they pull you all in and bring you down. And that's why I say trust. 50 Cent trust. is saying Jay-Z. Nobody. And 50 Cent, God damn it, bro. Can you stop bringing down your own? It makes no fucking sense what you're doing. You know you got a closet, bro. 50, you know you got a closet, right? You know these girls going to come out the woodworks for you too, right? Sheesh. I'm out of here. Peace.